Hey guys, it's your girl RJ, Ron Trinace, whatever. It's, it's, I'm tired, it's late. Anyway, I just want to show y'all how to keep your deep wave hair deep wavy. Because like, this pattern that it has right now is the pattern that I like. And so if you like this pattern too, I'm just going to show you how to keep it like this. Now, if you get this type of hair and you get it sewn in, you can do the same thing. All I'm basically going to be doing is wetting it down and putting like six or seven large plaits in it. Um, like if you get it, if you get your hair sewn in, you can do it at night before you go to bed, you know, while it's still in your hair, of course. But um, this is a wig, and so I'm just gonna take this off and put it on my mannequin head and plait it up. So you can do the same thing. But I did want to come on camera to do this because as y'all can see, this frontal is laid. You cannot, would not be able to know that it's not actually glued down to my head and it is not glued down at all. But it looks like it's glued down. So let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. It's not glued down. Ah, look at that, look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And this is the front of my wig. I did a darn good job. I'm so proud of myself. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this wig on my mannequin head and then we're gonna come back. And I'm just gonna show you, it's, it's nothing like spectacular, it's just me doing plaits, but I just wanted to make a video, so yeah. All right, so I did go ahead and put my wig on my mannequin head and I went ahead and just used a T-pin and pinned down the elastic band to the head just to keep the um wig in place so it doesn't like come off so the other day i brushed it out but i'm not going to do that again and basically what you would do is while you're getting ready to style it say if um when i wear it tomorrow i want to wear it in the middle part you would go ahead and part it in the middle but i'm just going to leave it like it is because i like the way it looked so i'm probably going to wear it in that same style probably all this week so, I'm just going to take in, it doesn't matter like how you do it, like the other night I did it um, in I think seven braids, so I'm just going to part it like so. So I just parted like this half of the wig basically, and I'm going to go ahead and use my spray bottle. And I'm gonna spray the hair down. I don't you don't need to get it soaking wet, just damp. So now it's wet. I think I'm gonna make this one. I don't want to make the top half one. So now I'm taking another section, doing the same thing, wetting it down, run my hands through it, and then doing a plait.
and that's it. So this is how your deep wave hair should look at night if you want to keep it in that perfect deep wave pattern. Just put some big old dookie braids in the hair, and that's that. So I'll film the, the ending, or the I'll finish this video tomorrow when I put the wig on, so you'll see how I do it. All I'm basically gonna do is unravel the um, plaits one at a time, and then like use like a light conditioner, and that's it. So yeah, so I will see y'all tomorrow to finish this video. All right, so it's the next day, and this is my deep wave hair. So I'm just going to put it on, and then we're gonna undo these plaits. So, I always like to pull where I want it to be. I'm gonna hold it, and then grab my elastic band right here, pull it around the back of my head, And then I'm gonna pull the unit down. I don't think I'm gonna secure this lace today just because I really need to be getting out of here and I don't have time to do it. So. So now it's on. You can see it a little bit because I don't have it secured, but it's not bad at all. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. So now all I'm gonna be doing is, actually let me go ahead and do these baby hairs. I'm just using my Nairobi. I put a little bit on my hand and I'm gonna put it in the front. And on the actual baby hairs. I'm not trying to put too much on it because I already did my makeup and I don't want to mess my makeup up. So this baby hair stayed in place good, so I'm gonna leave it where it is. But this one over here, I'm just gonna swoop it down and over. And it's not perfect, but it's good enough. It's gonna get the job done today. All right, now, very easy. I'm just gonna undo these plaits. And I'm going kind of fast, but you want to go a little bit gentle because you don't want to go ahead and put my earrings on. Because you don't want um, to like mess it up. Like if you go too fast, you can make the hair frizzy or whatever. So I'm just going to undo these plaits. And I should have undid them while it, while it was still on the mannequin head. That would have made it a lot easier. But I didn't think of that. All right, so I've undid that one. You see, so this is how the texture looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo all of these and then I'm gonna come back. All right, so all I did was undo all of the plaits and this is what the hair is looking like. I hope I got them all. Yeah. So I undo, did all the plaits. Now I'm just going to take and get some of my bio silk, put a little bit on my hands, like that much rub my hands together and I'm just going to fluff the hair but not too much because I want it to keep its um pattern and not get frizzy but I also want it blended together so I'm gonna gently rub my fingers through Just trying to preserve the pattern and not frizz it out too much. And I was gonna do another top bun, but I like how curly this is, so I'm just gonna do a ponytail and leave it a loose 
Or should I do a bun? I think I'll do a bun. Because that bun was cute. But I'm going to do it like loose. So you can still see these curls. Curls for the girls. All right. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is use my new favorite mousse for curly and wavy hair. And it's the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Wave Whip Curling Mousse. I picked this up probably a couple weeks ago and you can see it's just about empty. And I'm glad I've got two of them. They were on sale at Target. So I'm definitely going to be trying to find some more. I'll probably see if I can order some off of Amazon because that's my favorite place to order stuff. And this is a conditioner. It says it defines waves and curls without the crunch for touchable frizz-free finish. It's a weightless moisture and conditioning. Gonna rub it. And I'm going to just distribute this all throughout this hair. That's pretty much it. Hope it looks good in the back. How's it look? That's it. I love this hair. This hair is the bomb. All right, so catch you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. If you're, if I'm gonna post this on YouTube and Facebook, so if you're not already subscribed. <laughs> Click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to head over to my website and see if there's anything you're interested in. Alright, so I will see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of y'all. Bye!